Rory McIlroy, four under 67. Rory, just a huge move up the leaderboard today. What do you take from today into tomorrow? Yeah, um, you know, it's definitely the best that I've played this week. Um, felt like I played well on Thursday, and you know, 70 felt like the worst I could have shot. Uh, a little scrappy yesterday, but then today um, I hit a lot of fairways starting out, hit a lot of greens, gave myself a lot of birdie chances. Didn't didn't actually make that many, you know, but I just stayed really patient knowing that, you know, if you're not making bogeys out there, you're not losing ground. So um, stayed patient, was rewarded with a um, little bit of a fortunate birdie on 10 and then a really fortunate birdie on 12 with a chip in. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I just played a really solid round of golf. I, you know, there was really one, one loose shot out there, which was the drive on 15. But apart from that, um, you know, it's one of the, one of the best rounds of golf I've played in a while. Mark. Roy, did you see the rattlesnake on 15? I didn't. You didn't? How did you think about going down there to hit it at all? No, 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 did not you? at all, yeah. No, How it was, big were the two putts on 15 and 16? Yeah, huge, huge to keep momentum. I mean, as I said, it's like this is the only tournament in the world where you fist pump a bogey. You know, like even just losing one there was a, was a, a big deal. Um, and then getting it up and down out of the bunker on 16 uh, and then making, the, you know, making that birdie on 18 just to get that shot back that I lost. Um, really big. You know, I, I thought... You know, something like, you know, I thought like 268 over the weekend from where I was after Friday was going to have a good chance. You know, I've, I've done the first part of that job and it's, you know, up to, up to me tomorrow to go out and try to play a, a similar round of golf. And um, yeah, that's it. Right behind me, Rex. Roy, I feel like there were scores out there. You, Paul Casey, some others were able to go low. Depending on tomorrow, would you imagine they set it up similar or would you imagine a little bit stiffer test? Yeah, I thought the golf course played short today. Um, you know, they played the up tee on three with a short pin. Uh, they played the up tee on nine, up tee on 13, up tee on uh, 17. So the golf course played short. It didn't play as long as it, as it can play. Um, it means that all the par fives are reachable for the guys, and I think that was part of the reason why you're seeing some better scores. Bryce. What was the single biggest factor, if you can narrow it down to that, of cleaning up some of the bogeys the first two days? It's, it's pretty incredible. You had one bogey considering it was in the canyon. Yeah, um, I think just accepting hitting my approach shots to the middle of the green. I got, I got um, pulled into being overly aggressive a couple of times out there yesterday. And I thought the pin positions were, they've been a lot trickier the last two days, but I... You know, I, I hit good drives yesterday on 14 and on five and, you know, going up pins and short siding myself and making bogey from there. So, and they're just huge momentum killers, right? So, be, you know, accepting the fact, okay, I'm going to hit a wedge 20 feet away. You know, I'm still have a decent chance of holding it, but if I don't make par and move on. And I think, you know, that's typical U.S. Open golf. You have to just accept the fact that you know, middles of greens and pars are, are good. And, you know, I got into that mindset today. How, do, how would you rank being close going into Sunday compared to other majors in the last 10 years? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, I'm trying to think of the last time where I really felt like I had a chance. Um, I mean, Carnoustie in 18, felt like I maybe had half a chance going into the final day at Pebble in 2019. Um, then apart from that, there's been some good finishes, but never felt like I was in the thick of things. So, um, you know, as I said, I'm, I'm just excited for the opportunity to, you know, to, to have a chance and be in um, one of the final groups. Right here, Dylan. Yeah, what does the next uh, 20 hours look like before you tee off tomorrow? Um, not a whole lot. You know, 11.34 is a weird tee time. I sort of too early to have lunch and then you have a couple of bars on the course and now I'm starving so I'll probably get some food um yeah just relax uh, maybe watch a couple of the, you know a couple of the groups coming in see see how the how the tournament's looking um I've had the same chicken sandwich five nights in a row from room service so I'll probably make it six nights in a row uh I'll go to bed uh I'll wake up to my warm-up in the gym and get ready to go play again um that's that's about it what's the chicken sandwich it's uh rotisserie chicken avocado sun-dried tomatoes some like garlic aioli and some holy bread it's it's really good thank you you're welcome R rory do you, any uh any first father day plans tomorrow do you think no no um 
not that I'm aware of anyway. Um, not really. I mean, Mother's Day was pretty good to us a few weeks ago, so hopefully we can have the same result on Father's Day. Thanks so much, Rory. Thank you.